Now it takes quite a bit of courage to go on a blind date. Well, imagine how you'd feel if you knew that tomorrow you'd be going to your own blind wedding. That's exactly how two strangers in Birmingham feel today because they've decided to marry each other without having ever met. And it's all because of a radio competition. I think probably the story that most people will be discussing tonight mm. and probably tomorrow morning, whether we like it or not, is this blind date uh, wedding. Death us do part. Yes, I mean, it gives probably a lot of good, good potential for Sun Headlines, although well, there's a great Sun Headline that we'll come to in a bit later. This um, is the radio station offering glittering prizes to the two strangers who will meet and marry for the first time tomorrow. They've won a holiday in the Bahamas and a luxury flat and car for a year. Strangers in the night exchanging glances with just hours to go to the wedding carla germain still hadn't met the groom the 23 year old hadn't even seen a picture of the man she planned to spend the rest of her life with everything's been so looked into that really it's better than probably going off and marrying someone who you think you know down the road greg cordell was wishing the hours away he was still single at 28. Why not let a radio station find the woman of his dreams for him? It's the most ultimate gamble. It's like blind date, but you've got a lot more to lose. But I consider it as, well, what can I lose on this? I mean, I can't lose that. This is where the couple, currently in separate hidings, will meet for the first time tomorrow at the altar. The sun, surprisingly, I love it when the tabloids take the moral high ground on this, have come out against this. <laughs> Whatever you might think of it, they're saying this publicity stunt makes a mockery of marriage. <laughs> this cheap scam turns a serious business into a joke, except it's not at all funny. <laughs> and I just sort of think, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a point that's been made many times, I suppose. But if they'd have got the exclusive story, they might have taken a slightly <laughs> different line. But this is what I chose to do. Um, obviously, it's not what some people would say is right, but I've got a mind of my own, my own person. We want this to work. We've to ask them about their attitude to drugs, to sex, um, their attitude to children, and um, we've done psychometric tests. We have a relationship counsellor who's talking to all of them. The relations of commitment and love, all they have to do now is to win each other's hearts. And as befits a radio wedding, the reception apparently was quite good. Colin Baker, News at 10, Birmingham. Yeah. You may like it or not, you have to congratulate the radio station for pulling off a wonderful stunt, yeah. don't you? I mean,